Hello, I'm Victor, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I will show you how to set up Amazon S3 as a target for the AWS database migration service in a single AWS account. Let me walk you through the process. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the S3 console. Create your S3 bucket. Specify the bucket name and choose Create. Inside the bucket, create a folder, specify a name and choose Save. Navigate to the IAM console. Choose Policies from the left side of the navigation pane and then choose Create Policy. Choose JSON and then paste in the templates as found in our documentation. Update the policy to refer to the bucket's name you created earlier and choose Review Policy. Enter a name. Optionally, you can include a description, then choose Create Policy. After creating your policy in the IAM console, go to Roles. Choose Create Role. Choose DMS and select Next Permissions. In the search field, enter the name of the policy that you created. Select it and then choose Next Tags. Choose Next Review. Enter a role name of your choice and optionally add the description. Then choose Create Role. Take a note of the ARN for this role. You will need it later. After creating your role, navigate to the DMS console, choose Endpoints, and then select Create Endpoints. Select Target Endpoints. Enter an Endpoint identifier of your choice. Then choose S3 as the target engine from the drop-down. Paste the ARN of the IAM role that you created earlier into the service access rule and field. Enter the name of the bucket and bucket folder that you created earlier. If you have any extra connection attributes, you can add it under endpoint specific settings. Finally, you have the option of testing the endpoint connection. You can test this later, but we'll go ahead to test this now. You should already have a replication instance created in your desired VPC. On that test endpoint connection, select your VPC and replication instance and then choose Run Tests. The test takes some time to complete. Here our test is successful, so we can go ahead and create endpoints. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.